By the way, sorry if my voice is out. I've, I've been yelling a lot. Yo, Genesis just ended. First of all, press one if you were there. Press two if you were not there and you have nothing but big regrets. There's no three here. There's no way you didn't go and then you're you're like, I'm happy I didn't go. But yeah, uh, Genesis just ended. It was fucking fantastic. Holy shit, I did not realize how much I missed live events. So I, I've been looking forward to a live event for a long time and events coming back, but I didn't think I missed it this much. Even as Genesis was coming up, I'm like, yeah, it's gonna be fun, but is it gonna be that fun? And then like come Thursday morning, I'm like, oh shit, I'm going to Genesis today. For the first time ever, I got asked on my dating profile if I was real. Isn't that shit great? Something sinister happened, chat. I had a little contest at Genesis, okay? The greatest upset in Smash history was Dewan, aka H&M Mannequin, beating me out in the fashion contest. I cannot believe it. I lost, chat. I lost. I couldn't believe it. So if you didn't know, I had a little, a little contest going, okay? And here it goes. This is where it started, okay? Weeks ago, I was at um, uh, Alan's birthday. And at some point during the weekend, Dewan comes up. As an insult, by the way, this wasn't a compliment. As an insult, he pretty much says, Hugo, all you do, all you do is dress simple and clean. Basically saying that, of course I look good in what I wear because I don't take any risk. I don't do anything different. And I was like, hold up. What I wear is not simple. You still have to put the details together. And I do try things. Okay, but Dewan was kind of making it seem like he's bolder because he puts on more like colorful shirts or something. Anyways, he, he made this insult. And I said, at Genesis, we're going to have a battle where we're going to have an outfit for each day. And we're going to have a panel. And we're going to decide. And we came up with these categories. Day one, anything goes. Day two, date night. And then day three, club night. Okay, and these categories weren't, they weren't to say that they're judging us based on like, oh, is that outfit perfect for a date? I like this more on a date. That's not what it really was about. It was more about keeping us within a certain range so that the outfits could be compared, right? Because if it was just wear whatever you want every day, I could show up in a suit and he shows up in athleisure. And then how do you compare the two? They're both very like viable outfits, but they're for completely different things and it's hard to compare the two, right? So this helped us get into a range, right? Day one was anything goes, and this is the day that I thought I would for sure lose. Because I'm thinking Dewan is talking about how bold he is and how I'm simple and clean. So I thought that day one would be the day that he goes as loud and as bold as possible. And I'm like, I gotta hang with that. I I'm not gonna lie to you, my very first thought was, when I saw Dewan's outfit, I saw his fit. He looks great, by the way. Dewan looks great here, but I hated his fit. I thought the, the quality of the polo was, I didn't like the quality of the polo. I liked his watch. The pants, I didn't, I didn't love. I also didn't like how loose they were towards the bottom. I didn't love the color, but I saw it and I was like, oh, I win free. I'm actually just gonna win today. And then this was mine. And then the first person to judge it was Vish and he had to go do commentary. So I had to leave pretty quickly and he goes, I vote for Hugo, he wins. And I'm like, yep, of course, my outfit's better. Of course I'm gonna win, right? And then, show them what you look like standing, sure. What's wrong with that? Then the, the rest of the panelists came in, every single one after that gave it to Dewan. Here's the thing, what they said is that I had too many clashing patterns. So my shirt was like a, it had like a waffle texture, which makes it like a, a, a t-shirt that you could wear with a nice outfit. They argued the texture of the t-shirt, the pattern of the, of the shorts, and then the texture of the jacket, because the jacket is is not as casual looking. And they're they're pointing out all these things. And then I just got docked all kinds of points. And then I just lost. They just pointed out mistake, mistake, mistake. And then like, so I have to go with Dewan. And I'm like, okay, fine. I guess I messed up, right? What I didn't like also is that the panelists said if I just took off the jacket and had it as an accessory, I would have won. And I'm like, what the fuck? That's kind of bullshit. His outfit wasn't good. My outfit shouldn't get thrown away because I had the jacket on instead of off. That's bullshit. First of all, I think I, I think I own the jacket and shorts look. Like, felt like I lost on mistakes because I tried things. Whereas Dewan just kept it extremely simple, so there was just less room for mistakes. So like this outfit, I really feel like, literally the texture of the polo felt like it came out of the bargain bin at Target. Like, I hated the polo. 
hated the shoes. The color didn't feel as cohesive. I don't know, that's me. A lot of people said I got robbed on this day. I agree, but I feel like I, ma I made more mistakes on my outfit this day. So then I kind of accepted it because I made my mistake. Like, I think the pattern thing, I, I completely actually agree with the pattern thing. By the way, it didn't help that the whole day, Dewan started giving me fashion advice. He's like, no, Hugo, what you gotta do, you're doing too much, Hugo. What you gotta do, I'm like, shut the fuck up, Dewan. He was just, he was constantly on me, telling me how to how to wear my clothes. Saying, Hugo, I, I just think like you wear too many accessories. What you gotta do is, I was like, holy shit, Dewan. I like started talking shit about his jeans and his shoes. I'm like, do you think you're the pinnacle of fashion right now? Ah! So anyway, so, okay, I lost, fine. So we move on. The whole day, Dewan is saying, dude, you have no shot against my date outfit. It's a head turner. Every time I walk by, everyone's looking. He's like, this day two fit, fire. I'm like, okay. Seeing how the panel reacted to day one, I wanted to go a little more simple. I, I considered my outfit safer on the second day. Here are the fits, right? And I... I agree with the panel in some ways, some ways not, okay? But here's the problem. Let me start off by saying I think Dewan's outfit is good. I think some things are wrong, but this jacket is absolutely fire. I love the jacket. I like the accessories. That's where it ends for me. But here's my problem, okay? When I showed up, people were talking about the color of my belt was a different brown from the brown on my shoes and the brown on my socks. And it's just like... Am I really losing on shades of brown? Like, I'm losing on shades of brown right now. I get where the socks went wrong. One big problem is that it's very similar to my skin tone. So it, it kind of looks like a nude color for me. And if that's the case, I should have just not worn socks. But that's it, right? Like, if you're going to tell me that this brown is slightly different from this brown. It's like, I'm not going to work in the same exact brown top to bottom. I'm okay with working in shades of brown. There's a brown in my pants too, by the way, which you can't really see in the photo. But I'm not going to match that exactly either. You could work in a grouping of colors and it's totally fine. I'm like, okay, that's that could be fine criticism. But I was upset because it felt like the panel was throwing the whole fit away because of these little mistakes. And in that same vein, no one talked about how Dewan's pants didn't fit. In fact, they weren't even jeans. They were fa jeans. They were fake jeans, chat. And no one gave him shit for it. They just let it go. But me, I have I have the wrong color brown on my on the bottom of my shoes. My shoes are too shiny of a leather black and my belt wasn't also a leather black. That's why I lost. That's why I lost and my whole outfit got thrown away. Meanwhile, he wears pants. An entire half of his outfit that doesn't fit. That isn't even real jean material and I lost. So I was just pissed. I just felt like they really just weren't, they weren't, I felt like they weren't being fair. What do you guys think? Maybe I needed a hat? Maybe I needed a hat? No, I'm f***ing around. No, no, the hat, the hat doesn't work. Yeah, no, my friend was wearing this hat. Uh, Goober girl, actually. I was like, yo, let me put on your hat. Let me see. And then this was, you see how I have my jacket in my hands? This was me making fun of the panel, saying I could have won day one if I just had my jacket over the shoulders. Son of a bitch. Are you kidding me? That wins me the day one? Yeah, you see the look on my face? You see the shit eating green? That's me. That's me thinking about the panel. And by the way, uh, anybody saying that they hated the, the pants and that's why I lost, you're absolutely wrong. Literally everybody who cared about fashion and even all the panelists, they all love the pants. You're actually just wrong. They might not be for you, like you might not enjoy wearing them yourself, but the pants are fire. I said, okay, there's actually no chance, no chance I am losing tomorrow because all I'm gonna do tomorrow is wear a nice shirt, pants that fit, belts that matches the shoes, and that's all I have to do, and I'm gonna win because I've seen Dewan try to dress clean, and I could beat that. And sure enough, the next day, I show up in my day three fit, and like I said, all I was going to do, put on a nice, clean shirt, a nice belt that matches the shoe color, and well-fitted pants, and that's all I need. And the shoes, you can't see it in the picture, these are these are like a dark maroon. I wore less accessories because they, they talk shit on the fact that I wore too many accessories, so I said, okay. Little gold chain, one ring, that's it. I'm so happy with these boots. These are the ones I was waiting on, by the way. I didn't show up to Genesis until late because I was waiting on them. Look at these boots. Oh, man. Oh, man. Look, look at these in the light. Oh. 
Look at these boots. I put this together and I knew I would win. I might have lost day one and day two on like what I thought was kind of bullshit. But day three, I'm probably going to win 5-0. I don't see how he beats me. I don't see how any judge is going to go against me. And if he does, if he beats this, then I'm very impressed. He just wins, right? And I had a jacket that I also thought was clean that I didn't wear because I was, I just didn't trust the panelists anymore. But then later on, I put on the jacket and the uh, the, the hardest panelist, which was Alan, he said it was, it was like killer. He, he actually thought the jacket was really good. So I like, I had the whole thing down and there's no picture of the jacket, unfortunately, but I'll wear it at a future event. Look at this jacket. Oh, oh. Bro, no, it worked. All right, it works with the fit. This ain't, you guys are wrong. On that shirt, no, it, it definitely works. We're dealing with similar colors. Too many textures? No, it works. You're wrong. But okay, but you can see why I thought it was too risky. You can see why I thought it was too risky with the panelists. But the panelists afterwards just thought it was really good too. Reminds me of the flannel my brother wears. Yeah, but there's nothing wrong with flannel. And the way it's cut is really like, really nice so i dress up like this and i'm like i definitely want I, I can't i can't lose at this point right and then i'm waiting on dewan to show up to the after party because we agreed to be uh dressed up and fitted by the time the after party starts and dewan shows up in a goddamn dragon ball z shirt in a pair of joggers and i look at him i'm like what are you doing and he comes up to me and he goes all right so hugo I wore my outfit today and I've been getting clowned on all day, like by different people, including panelists, because some of them were staying with the one. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Johnny slumped in the back and he's like, so I forfeit. And I look at him and he goes, you, you win today. And I look at him. I'm like, are you serious? He's like, what do you mean? I'm telling you, you won. I'm like, are you serious? And he goes, yeah. Like he thought I should have been happy that I won. And I'm like, you mother are you kidding me? I didn't come here to win. I came here to beat you. Not to get some fucking forfeit win. And he's like, no, but I'm telling you, you would have won. And he keeps trying to explain it to me. And then I said, all right, Dewan, do you remember when Ringler beat your ass in tournament the last time you guys played? You didn't feel good about it, right? He's like, and, and he, he thought I was like trying to talk shit or whatever. I was like, no, no, hear me out. Listen, listen to me. And I said, okay, so how about you run into him in bracket at the next event? And instead of playing you, he goes, Hey bro, I'm playing kind of bad. I'm just going to forfeit. You win. It's like you've been, you've been thinking about beating him and then you have an opportunity and he says, bro, uh, I'm not playing well today. I'm going to just let you have it. And then he understood. He understood how I felt at that point. It's really funny. Cause I, I made this comparison about Zane where Zane lost at summit to X, you know, Zane as a competitor, he's crazy. He's going to study the matchup. He's going to try to learn it in every which way he can. And that's what he did for Axe. He was tired of losing to Axe and he was practicing. And he went all the way to Smash Camp to play against Axe. Axe's Pikachu. And then last minute, Axe decides to, I think, drop out or just go all Young Link. And Zane was pissed. And then people would actually, like, message Zane and be like, Oh, good shit, you get to win Smash Camp. Like, good job, Zane. Like, clear path or whatever. And Zane's like, no. I came here to fucking beat Axe. I don't want a free win. I want to beat Axe. And that's how I felt you like took this win away from me. Axe could do whatever he wants, right? But that's different, right? I had a direct competition with Dewan and he chose to not dress up. I'm like, so if your outfit was so trash that everyone was clowning on you, then you have to show up with it and let the panelists vote down. Like this is the outfit you chose. You got to show up in it. This was your choice. You got to lose. No, he felt that, you know, the forfeit was fine and he just didn't show up. I was like, I was so pissed. Like here's me. <laughs> So I told our photographer, I'm like, dude, look, take pictures of me and then find the most fucked up, like blurry picture of Dewan inside of the club dancing in his fucking Dragon Ball Z shirt. And so uh, he, d this is the one he took. And then I took this one with my phone. No, this wasn't the fit he was getting clowned for. He just chose not to show up with it. But yeah, so Dewan backed up and I, I wasn't able to like actually beat him. And then Zane Epengu came up to me. He's like, how does it feel to get your brain absolutely messed up by Dewan? I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, no, he absolutely rocked you on a psychological level. I'm like, what do you mean? It's like, well, he made fun of you for dressing simple and clean. So you tried to go bold and then you lost points because you were trying to go bold. Meanwhile, he went simple and clean and he did it worse than you would have. And then he ends up winning because of that. 
And then on the last day where you decide to go simple and clean, he just doesn't even show up dressed and he forfeits. I, I listened to this whole explanation and I was like, God damn it, you're right. I got fucking mixed, dude. I got fucking played, dude. I got mixed. He really didn't outdress me. He beat me on a psychological level. What can I say? He was right. Dewan was telling me, like, you look great, man. Like, as if that made me feel better, I guess. But yeah, he, he knew that I, I just beat him. But yeah, so the final score, two to one in favor of Dewan. Not the greatest, but I told him, you might have won against the panelists, but I'm going to win where it's real important. I said, the court of public opinion. And he says, wait, what do you mean? We agreed we wouldn't let Twitter decide. And I said, no, I agree. But I'm talking, you and I go walking down these streets. Who will the people think is better dressed? And I think I won on that front, but maybe not so much with the cool jacket he had on. But to be honest, look, I'm going to say it right now. And I, I, I would beat Vish. I'm calling out Vish. I'd beat Vish. He wears nice jackets. He needs to expand his horizons. And he hasn't yet. He wears really nice jackets, but he sticks to the same black shirts and the joggers. So if in this competition, he would have to go beyond that. And I haven't seen him comfortable with that yet. Alrighty, chat. I think I'm going to wrap it up. But yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. And I'll catch you all next time. Okay, later. Also, by the way, Larry, Larry Lur would have smoked this in his Irish green, red shorts, Mega Man shirt combo. He would have smoked all of this. We would have just been done. Oh no, I'm ruined.